The <coughs> Plants with John Research and Development Facility comes a brand new drying rack. Um, kind of a cool setup. Not quite built to handle the weight, as you can tell that top one's deflecting a little bit under the weight of two or three pounds of peppers. <coughs> so that might be something to think about. But anyway, decent little design. I'm able to put 18 different strands on there. Each has a different label. Each label has a place to keep a needle. And so I want to store some Gagas Pond's brain, pull the needle out, thread the peppers onto the strand, and then uh, reattach it. So. <coughs> Pretty streamlined. Um, <coughs> these butch tea yellows, those are the darker yellow. Um, those are so heavy they're snapping the thread I'm got, I've got, so um, I'd kind of break it over. But um, the Fatalis worked out fine. I probably just didn't put as much on there. One thing about the butch tea yellows is I notice that they have a lot of water in them. Um, they're very dense pepper, so they'll they'll get a lot lighter, and uh, I don't know they'll be very concentrated um, spice wise. So that'll be something to see. Um, <coughs> these crossway zip ties kind of brace this. I move side to side. Um, it's a lot more steady than it was in its first iteration. Um, this is in Gaius Khan's brain. These are the butch tea yellows. And white photons. Cayenne. And then those are dried, those are Bahamian goat and skunk red. <coughs> so I've just got this other uh, fan going here to try and cool them off. One other benefit from um, drying so many peppers is a huge number of seeds. Um, there I've got a couple ounces worth of white fatale seeds. Um, and I'll have a shitload of peach ghost seeds. So, and then likewise with the the uh, bush tea trend that's working. Um, so this scheme is going to have some potential benefits there, in that I'll have lots of seeds potentially to share with people. Um, yeah, very good situation I think. <laughs>